Hello everybody, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about the AWS Transit Gateway. So what's the video till the end? Transit Gateway. Now without the Transit Gateway, if there is one VPC trying to communicate with another VPC, we can have a peering connection. Me, this VPC trying to communicate with this VPC, another peering connection. This VPC trying to communicate with this one, another peering connection. This VPC trying to communicate with this VPC, another peering connection because it, because it is non-transitive in nature. The VPC peerings are non-transitive. It is not so because this is connected to this and this is connected to this. Thus, this and this also will be able to communicate. No, they won't be able to communicate with each other. For this and this to be able to communicate with each other, you need to create a VPC peering between them also. So if I have got four VPCs, then this kind of mesh of VPC peerings is required to be connect created if I want to make them communicating with each other. If I have an on-prem location, so then I need to create a VPN from here, here, from here, and also to this. And if I want to make use of direct connect service, to my on-prem, then all that is another connectivity that I have. So many connections. So simplify it. Amazon introduced a transit gateway. So if you have got a VPC, a VPC, a VPC, and VPC, four VPCs trying to communicate with each other. So you can create a peering connection between them, and all of them will start talking to each other. If you have a customer gateway, the VPN also has to be coming to only to the transit gateway. And then this customer on-prem location will be able to communicate with all the locations which are coming connected via the transit gateway. Similarly, if there is a location with AWS Direct Connect, so for that also rather than doing like this, 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 and this, it's not required. It will be only one connectivity from here up till here so like this way i can simplify the connectivity for having transitive peering between thousands of vpc and on-prem locations so it will become transitive i'm connected to this i'll be able to communicate with this 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 this, this and this whereas in this case if you are connected to this and this is connected to this, you are not able to communicate like this. It was non-transitive. The VPC peerings were non-transitive. But to make them transitive, Amazon introduced transit gateway service. It's not a single point of failure because this is a fully managed service by Amazon. So although it looks like a single unit for you, but in the background, the redundancy and the scaling is already taken care by Amazon. Okay, now over here, see, there is a scenario given. Transit gateway. Share direct connect between multiple accounts. So you have got a direct connect endpoint. Where you will be having a layer two connectivity from your direct to connect to your customer corporate data center and then there is a direct connect to the transit gateway now from here both the vpcs will be able to communicate you do not have to have a different direct connect connectivity for different vpcs which in general was required without the transit gateway because it is actually a layer two connectivity which happens over here. Direct connect is a direct cable laid from your data center to Amazon nearest edge location from where via the private network it travels to the Amazon's other locations. So this is how your transit gateway simplifies your network it simplifies your network if you have got thousands of vpcs operational so rather than you paying for every vpc per hour and then 
the connectivity uh, the data transfer charges over there you will be paying for transit gateway only and one vpn so yes it is an ex it is an expensive service by amazon but this has been created for large deployments so if you have got large deployments multiple vpns that, that means thousands of vpns coming thousands of uh, vpn and peering and direct connects getting communicated with each other then transit gateway can be a good choice for you because it will make your life easy so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on amazon aws solution architect certification for beginners under this free class you'll be learning about why and who should learn aws cloud services deployment models and aws services as well and the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs job opportunities along with docker and kubernetes in aws and amazing amazing stuff so if you want to register for this free class all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash aws sa02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now select your event date add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes save my seat and after that you'll be seeing this kind of page you just have to save this link on the extreme right add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep learning